everyone. We are just so glad that you're here. And there's some, um, I, I'm, excuse me. Please. I'm, I'm looking down at the laptop. It's off camera. And uh, what does that say right there? That says that there are actually 185. Yay. Oh, so that's some that's of you that's snuck that's in. That's in. That's told there was room for a thousand uh, yeah. and someone and dropped sent, a decimal yeah, along the way. And, and we, sent out, we sent out over a thousand invitations assuming that the thousand would make it so we are just so grateful you're here live and again for those of you that are catching us on a recording please trust the timing that we are connecting with right now. And guys, before we go any further, I just want to take a moment and thank Alan and Sandra for kicking oh. this off and being such amazing hosts. Thank you. That, I think, Shree, I think we should just jump right into the January okay. revelations. I'm still unpacking. You're still unpacking. <laughs> <laughs> this is our ensoulment kit. <laughs> are the revelations going to be that long? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> And let's, let's just, while he's unpacking, I just want to share that we are live at Tosa Blue Mountain, Ecuador. It is a gorgeous summer night. Isn't it beautiful out there? Yes. Wow, up here in the Andes Mountains. And just right out here, if you hear the drumming, that Sue Sturdivant completing her pipe ceremony that was offering all this beautiful prayer energy for the completion of this year and the coming of the new year. And everyone here has co-created this tonight. So we thank all of you that are here with all of our heart and soul because you're the ones that are co-creating this with us. And we thank all of you that are watching live and we thank all of you that are catching us in the archives or watching us on YouTube. Thank you, we love you dearly and we are really grateful. So Sri, I think we should dive right into January. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> This is a party. <laughs> we just love him. That's okay. I, I got my... Not now. Because I see myself in you, I just took a big selfie. <laughs> All right, let's get into January. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like where you're going with this, I really do. So hey, January, let's get started. First and foremost, Happy New Year! And for everyone, as this time, as this moment, and I'm enjoying that we're hearing the rattle and the drum at the same time, it's a heartbeat. Do you feel that? Do you feel that heartbeat? And it really is pulsing very, very much. And as we are coming closer and closer to the shift, we can already sense and feel that the, that the shift has already happened, right? There's already many places that have already come into January 1st. So we are still in that bridge moment, are we not? Where we're all still transiting. Every being is going through this moment. And there is that breath within that is going to wake up and recognize that we have now left the anomaly and we are now re-entering into the ascension escalator and that has a lot of ramifications and a lot of energy around it. We're at an amazing time and I think that it's important to recognize that as the illusion of the outer world gets thicker and denser and more distorted, the purity of the inner world becomes easier to recognize. The discernment becomes easier when there is contrast. And I, I believe it's so important that each of us recognize that as we're coming into January, this is a time of divine recognition, of seeing the truth. And your truth might surprise you because what's happening is that the layers are, 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 of the veil are thinning. Yeah. And you may be looking at something in your life that you've seen a thousand times and all of a sudden go, oh, I get it. Or, oh, it's time to let go of this. There is a... Um, just an honesty that is before those who are anchored in the truth of their hearts. There is an honesty that is approaching us, unlike in the past. And that's, and that's in, uh, in large part due to the magnification of the distortion, making it so easy to choose. What will you choose? Well, and that's so true. And, and this is really being amplified in January because the energy in January is inviting us to remember divine awareness. Now, this is the start of a three-year cycle. 
So you're going to have 2019, 2020, and 2021, which would then bring us to the final year of the Ascension Escalator. And so there is a, there is a breath that is going on with this. There is a panic that is going on with this. Even as I share this with you, pay attention to your breath right now. Are you holding your breath or are you breathing? And this is because there is an awareness moment that is happening in January that has not been on the planet. And this is what Shree was just talking about. This awareness moment is going to be like a do-over. And so for those who are ready, those who have had, let's say that you had a dream and you, you never fully manifested your dream, or let's say that you, you half did something and maybe felt that it wasn't completed, or there's a part of your life that feels incomplete, this is an insertion moment, and it's a very exciting one, because for everyone, you have this opportunity to actually move forward now in a way you have not moved before. Moving forward means saying, I am. I am here. I am ready. I am moving. <laughs> you know, I, I interrupted the mantra of self-ascension there. Because uh, of this light. This is making me crazy. Oh, yeah. This, this, is, this, is, my, my, this is my clip on. If you're all wondering what is on his shirt, <laughs> right, it's, it's your on. illuminated presence. <laughs> but I, you guys, I will tell you guys, we should turn the camera around. You know, this is our archaeological site that we're coming to you live from and you can hear that Sue is finishing up the sacred pipe ceremony and the beautiful old wall here the smoke is wafting it's really quite beautiful and you can see behind us this actually was a kitchen part of, right of this structure and this is what you, what was left from the kitchen part and these are all artifacts from our time in Guatemala and Uruguay up there. All right, I want to come back to my soapbox <laughs> because That's me we, kicking him we off. no not yet <laughs> I know, I know. the I am presence that resides as the central truth of your consciousness in form is coming forward in a way that will allow your empowerment to be claimed with ease. The I am presence will allow your empowerment to be claimed with ease. I am ease. I am resurrection. I am here. And my voice will be heard because I love you and I want to share. It's that kind of confident declaration that will carry you through the uh, the smoke and mirrors <laughs> of of the outer uh, world that is filled with marketing and manipulation. Uh, the outer world's great fun. Have a ball with it. Go go do whatever your heart and your inner child say. Let's play. However, truth must be recognized within before it can be experienced in the outer. And that's really the piece I wanted to get on the soapbox about, is that as we move into this new year, this is a year of divine awareness. Big. Big. The divine awareness Big. begins right here with, yeah. I am here. I am here. And when you own that, I mean, if you can really own that, that is a beautiful blessing. And how? And I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there going, yeah, that sounds great, Shree, but I get that too. <laughs> and, and here's the most important thing about January. Remember that in January, January 2021, we are in for a super blood wolf moon. And it's going to hit effigy at 1212 Eastern Standard Time. Now, that is a lot of energy pouring into the political center of a country that is going to be affecting the way many things will happen in 2019. And so there will be um, some powerful shifts coming forward through divine awareness. And this is why the energy right now, New Year's right now, claim and call in that that dream call in that awareness ask for your eyes to be opened and to not be afraid at what you see and that's going to be the most important gift you can give yourself in january is to look into every mirror and that's not just the one where you see your own reflection right it's every single mirror and so in january it's going to be about gazing into every single mirror and seeing the divine 
or you're going to have an opposite experience. Because the twinned earth has fully anchored, and because divine awareness is about living in multidimensional presence, there is a process. It's called the murk above the face. And this is, and if you want to learn about it, go to our website. We're going to have it posted right on the home page, right next to this video. And this process is very important because in this moment of coming out, remember, 2015 through 2022 is the full ascension escalator. And what happens during this time determines 2023. You know, so many people are writing and they're going, Kara, what about 2023? Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Number one, we'll be here. How we're going to be here is in our hands right now. This is not a sit around and talk about it moment. This is not a let me go hang out with my friends and bitch about things. This is a get off your butt and do it moment. So what do you want your life to look like? Let your dreams manifest. If you want to be a healer, what has stopped you? If you want to go out and, and be the best window washer in the world, what has stopped you? This is the moment to manifest your dreams. And for anyone who has carried a dream and it never fully manifested, this is your moment. And it's right in front of you. And 2019 is divine awareness. Now what that means is 2019 is divine awareness. 2020 is experience, hold on for that roller coaster. And 2021 will be the choice. So we are heading into a very profound three-year cycle. And awareness is a moment of celebration because it does mean humanity has arrived. To arrive at the moment of awareness is an extraordinary gift. And that is why tonight we should be celebrating. We should be up in arms saying, yes, we are. And as we move through 2019, and we are being blessed with greater awareness, all of the veils coming off, the opportunity to see truth, it's got to begin with you. If you can't look at yourself, our world is doomed. And so if you can look at yourself, our world will not only flourish, it will blossom. And the blossoming moment is before us right now. It has been coming. And so living in multidimensional presence is something that must occur. And I, I forgive me for using an absolute, and, and sincerely I mean that, but the reason I share that is if you cared enough to watch us live and to fly around the world to be with us here at Tosa Blue Mountain, which, oh my God, it, our honor, our honor, then, then we feel that we honor you with this sharing. And we love you that much, and we care that much about our planet right now. So I want you to breathe in and really invite into your life because remember this energy is opening tonight and it's going to start building 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 up into that super full blood wolf moon i mean guys this is a full lunar eclipse it's going to be massive and it's going to hit its peak at 12 12 eastern time this is a big one and so can you ride this wave this is the moment to manifest your dream I mean, literally, I, and I love that we're hearing the rattle and that we're hearing the drum and the heartbeat's getting bigger, and I hope you guys are catching this on the camera because that's what this is. It's a heartbeat moment. It's an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to expand. And, my angels, there will be just as much force happening in the polar opposite of this as well. So this is your time to shine. And uh, I just love that it is. Yeah. It's fabulous. Well, the one thing I want to underscore is that as events and the energies conspire to activate your awareness to deeper levels, deeper levels of truth, deeper levels of recognition, I invite you to take action. Awareness without action is a, a passive recognition that does not contribute to the expansion in the way that an aware action contributes. Does this make sense? When we recognize that it's time to be seen, when we recognize that it's time to express our love in the form of an active service, where is your passion? Right. Where is your passion? 
don't keep your candle behind the veil. Woohoo! Let the light shine, as they say. Wear and it on your lapel. Oh, yeah. forward, a smile of mastery. And here are Sri and Kira. Oh, namaste, beloved ones, and welcome to Saturday's Exploring the Mysteries with Sri and Kira. You are here on an extremely special day. And Sri and I first just want to say thank you if you're joining us live, and thank you if you're joining us in the archives. Thank you if you're watching us on YouTube. We're really honored you're here. Absolutely, and we're having fun with technology because we've decided to be the master of technology rather than have technology run us. Exactly. I, I really need to bow and say thank you yeah. to all of you who did co-create that installment New Year's Eve. We, have you felt it? I mean, have you felt the energy since New Year's Eve? I know certainly I have. And in all honesty, it's been a massive journey back for me since that ensoulment. I, uh, I was giggling just today, sharing with some of our beloveds that are here at Tosa Blue Mountain. And we're coming to you today live with a, a studio audience. Studio audience, say hello. 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 Studio audience. So we're our, our living room audience. And, uh, <laughs> All of the above works. And, From our and living room to, to yours. your living room, <laughs> exactly. And we are sincerely grateful because this is a profound moment. Since the that we are anchored in our communion with the divine and our service with you. And we are here to provide uh, as much clear, clean, authentic information and energy and sharings as we are able to do while we have these lovely bodies to work with. And it feels like there's an urgency around yeah. that. And especially with just, you know, spoiler alert, the January overarching energy is to see the truth. Yes. And, and so there is a huge moment ahead for all of us. We're going to talk a lot more about that. And so... Uh, Kira mentioned the interference and energy. We're going to come back to that, but here's what I want to say to you. Wherever in your life you are shining light, and hopefully that's often and many hours a day where the light is shining uninhibited through you, through your actions, through your thoughts, through your gaze, there will be a shadow off to the side. It's the nature of duality where the light shines, darkness gathers. Always. There is that nature. Do not stare at the darkness. Keep focused at the, on the light, on the unfolding pathway, and on the uplifting, illuminated voyage that we're all traveling. Because in that zone is your bliss. And we wish a lot of bliss upon you. I'm blissed out, I'm blissed out listening to you. I'm like, yeah, and it's always a breath. You know, it's always a breath yeah. away. And the power of taking that breath and then ending with a smile is yeah. always an igniter. So for those of you that have been in this energy of December 31 came in and the energy has just been, I mean, do you guys feel this? For me personally, it's been a challenge to stay in third dimensional experience. Well, it really has. Well, and, and here we are, we're, we're on day five. Uh, but what is this? Uh, Benjamin shares in the chat room, intense energy since January 1, but today I feel gentler energy coming in. Yes, today is the magical. The love flow. Well, and Shree, here's another, I don't know who this is, it's guest 919 over at Oneness Talk Radio, and she says, the surprise installment was a blessing. Thank you for having an open heart so the truth comes through. Love you, Kara Ra. I love you, guest 919. And, and so, number, nine. number 919, I love that. And so we are all, I, don't you guys get it? Shri and I feel like we are being granted this opportunity. It's like we feel like we're being given another window. That our first window opened in 2003 and said, go out and do this. And we did. And for many years, Sri and I lived out of suitcases and traveled the world and did all these workshops and all these events and people and shows. And then it was so clear that we needed to, we had a choice put in front of us. And the choice was, it was a very fat contract from a company that a lot of you would know, and it was worth a lot of money, and the only thing we had to agree to was to cut Shree's hair, put him in an Armani suit, change what I wear, and let them edit the words of Zodkiel. And that's all we had to do. And you know, well, uh, people who know Shree and I know that that would not even be an option. Many of the people that we know took that option, and you yeah. guys know them all. And many of those yeah. folks are on the are out there right circuit, now on the circuit. Lots of attention, and, and that's great because they're, they're doing their thing. They are because there's a teacher for everyone. But at some point, the deception becomes obvious, 
At some point, your heart says, wait a minute, why does it always keep me afraid? Why does it always drive my adrenaline? Why do I why feel do one I... step removed? Right. Why do I have to keep hearing more and more? Why are they keeping me like this? Because that's you're being controlled. There is a new age mainstream control, my loves. And that's why Shri and I said, you know what? And we had people that were like, you guys, you're, you're throwing it all away. You could be mega famous and all this. I don't care. We don't care. What we care about is the truth. What we care about is that your dreams manifest, that you remember who you are. And the blessing that we have had over all these years is that we have witnessed so many people's dreams come true. So many people's dreams come true. And that's one of the things I love about Oneness Talk Radio is it gives an opportunity for a lot of the beautiful people that we've rid this journey with to have their dreams come true. And so I share this with you now because there's a lot of bullshit out there. A lot. And it's all illusion, right? Beep. So it's all it's all just illusionary bullshit and bullshit and bullshit, right? It's all big illusion. Beep, beep, beep. There is. But January initiates the year. 2019 is the year of divine awareness. Mm. And remember, our enlightenment is always three steps. And this is what's in our new book. And we will get it out there, but we're really paying attention to the timing. And the three steps are this. Awareness, experience, choice. And it is an ever-refining cycle that will never, ever, ever stop until you transition out of this Awareness, body. experience, and choice. We keep cycling through those steps. And oftentimes, we are not awake to the awareness. And that is why, if we look at the 2015 through 2022 Ascension Escalator, 2015, 2016, 2017 was the, think of it as the lower three chakras. It was the, okay, what are we building? What are we calling in? What are we creating? 2018 was the anomaly. Okay, it was the time out of time moment. It is the time that we were given. It was like a breath. It was like, a, okay, this is too intense. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. And believe it or not, 2018 was the breath. Well, and I know that's hard to hear. And it was a time for us to revisit Shanti, Bhakti, and Ananda. And anchoring. To anchor, and anchor peace, love, and joy as a committed way of being. Exactly. And, and it's an anomaly. And so the question you need to ask yourself is, did I throw it away? And if you think you did, then throw away that thought because that means and you're just still in. not owning yourself. You did not throw it away. You did it perfectly. Wherever you are right now is absolutely where you need to be. And this is your moment. And if you're, what do you want? What do you want? Are you ready to make a difference? Are you ready to say enough? Because January is the month to see the truth. And it must begin with you. Are you ready to look at yourself? Are you ready to love yourself so much that you can pull up into that multidimensional existence of awareness, which is the year of 2019? Shri and I are banking you are. We, mm -hmm. we believe you are. The question is, do you believe you are? Love is, is often misunderstood because to love ourselves means I am at peace with what I am. Right, right. I am at peace with who I am and who I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> and the illusion of that. <laughs> Of who we are becomes the foundation for engaging experience and then gaining a greater awareness about the quality of that experience and making fresh choices. Remember, experience is that which is brought into awareness, which foundationalizes your choice. That is the place at which your proactive empowerment gets its fuel. Fill me up. <laughs> Buttercup. Experience. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why. Experience, <laughs> awareness, and choice. <laughs> awareness, experience, choice. And th here's what's important to remember about that. You cannot enter awareness until you wake up. Until then, you don't know what you don't know. You might have the words, you might have the understanding, but there's that divine moment, and this is the greatest gift of 2019, is that we have that divine moment, and it's going to be intense, but it'll be beautiful if you allow it to be, to absolutely gift yourself with seeing the truth. And it all begins right now in January. When we see the truth, divine awareness ignites. When we are at peace with ourselves, then our 
transcendent awareness has an opportunity to inform us. You know, you are who you are, but are you aware of who you are? And speaking of that awareness, I mean, humanity is heading toward a very transcendent moment. It's called January 21. It'll happen at 1212. And we have a lot to share about that. We have a lot more to share about 2019. And we are right here waiting for you. 2015 through 2022, just a quick recap. We had 2015 through 2017 was like that foundation. 2018, the anomaly year to anchor Shanti Bhakti Ananda, brings us back to the first of the second set of three years. 2019, 2020, 2021. These are the years that are going to put it all together that will determine 2022. This is not fully um, in stone yet. It is a co-creative process. We are creating it. However, it is here. It is the blink of an eye. And as we enter 2019, it's a reinsertion moment. It's like if you were in the middle of something before 2015, so you need to look at the years from the, the moment of the millennium. So you need to look at your years between 2001 and 2000, the culmination of 2014. What did those years do? What, was, what did your life look like in those years? And whatever has been left undone, whatever dream may not have manifested, this is the moment, this is the literal moment where you can bring it forward. And I'm talking about all of it. I'm talking about there is no restriction here, guys, because you're the creator. This illusion is giving us all a second chance. And guys, if ever humanity needed a second chance, I would say now is the moment, wouldn't you? Doesn't it seem like maybe we've gone a little off course, that maybe just a little course correction is needed? That's the gift of this moment, and that's the gift of January, and that's the gift of this energy, and it's all about the higher chakras. The higher chakras are your connection beyond the veil. The lower three chakras are the earth-based chakras. That is the part of the energy body that keeps us interacting with the density, the third density. Density is the world of form. Density is the world of the emotions. And density is the world of thought, for the yeah, most part. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the thoughts have the wonderful ability to reach into the abstractions, to be able to open the gateways up here. So we are at a time when seeing the truth is available to us, unlike other times, Yet, within the strata of density, within the planetary thought body, the delusion is thick. And so because of that, this is the moment where that multi-member, all of 2018, we've all been adapting to anchoring into this multi-dimensional energy that's opened up on the planet. The fifth dimension is now like ordinary. It, it's, it's almost like, okay, yeah, we've been living here for a while. And even as I share that with you, tune into your ears. I'm hearing a lot of high-pitched tones. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to hear a lot of connected harmonies as I share this with you. Because those of you that are denying your connection to the fifth dimension, may this moment as we connect offer you that breath. May you just breathe into that truth and feel that gift and relax the mind that is seeking to steal that opportunity from you because now that we are in 2019, this seventh, ninth dimensional energy is extremely available. It is not difficult to connect with. There are some adaptations that you will need to make to live into this energy. And right now, the intensity of January is the invitation to lift up out of the planetary thought body and this is that whole witnesser witnessing the witness right and so as we witness ourselves we begin to relax the ego as we witness the witness we begin to love even more and as that witnesser witnesses we break free of the illusion and the love that is sitting there frees you from being distracted it offers you a focus that is so pure and so crystalline that nothing can stop it. That's the opportunity January is offering you if you're brave enough to see the truth, to let go of the illusion, to see it for what it is. And for many people in January, there's going to be a lot of, oh my God, was that always there? Mm -hmm. And the answer is, yes. We are all building. 
the month of January, humanity is right now in a precipice energy. And if you're watching density energy, if you're connected to lots of the trails of information and news out there, you're probably having some palpitations right now. Mm -hmm. And there's simultaneously some wonderful things coming forward. So here's the deal, my angels. On January 21, this month, 2019, at 12, 12, the full red blood wolf moon eclipse will peak. January 21, 2019, at 12, 12 Eastern Standard Time in the United States. This is a moment where there is going to be a, I almost lose my breath talking about it, it's going to be a moment. Now, I am not offering a negative prediction, and I am not telling you that there's gonna be a ball or anything of that. What I am telling you is that in many different dimensional experiences, and potentially in this one, there will be massive energy surges, and it will be a massive moment for you to flourish. It is a big moment of mastery, it is a unique moment, and it is powerful, and this is why we're talking about it, Help us get the word out there. Help us learn more. Shri and I promise you, and we think part of the interference energy has been the extreme exhaustion in us and the lack of help uh, for us to get things out on the web. We need help. And we think that that is part of the interference, is that we're having a hard time calling that help in. And so help us help you. Help us all, because together we are better. Absolutely. And, and by the way, this is a powerful month and that January, you know, it's going to, you're going to start feeling it January 20th, which oh, is yeah. a Sunday, by oh, the way. Yeah. And we have a live radio show Sunday at noon Pacific. We're going to talk more about what's coming and what we're in because right. it'll be fresh and right there. And uh, we encourage you to tune in to Shreen Care Live at noon Pacific on Sunday, January 20th. We'll prep you a little bit further yes. about the 21st. Right. Uh, uh, that we're announcing right now, it's important to recognize that the pendulum that is in the duality yeah. does its little oscillation. It leans one way, it leans another way. Mm -hmm. And it leans, and the, and the experiences of this polarity have a lot to do with where humanity places its intention, its attention, and its energy. Because your energy follows your gaze. What are you looking at? Are you yeah. seeing the divine behind the, the variety of forms? Yeah. Are you seeing the oneness right. behind the allness? There is a diversity of expressions and there's a lot of tragic expressions out there yeah. that are not looking deeply enough and discovering that when I see you, I see me. When I gaze deep into nature, I see the beauty of the, the oneness. As we remind each other to cultivate the open-hearted peace that allows us to see beyond. Mm. Then we co-create a world that has harmony.